Hey everybody, welcome back to another product analysis video. So I'm going to take a look at these last four model kits that were released by Bandai or at least announced by Bandai in the last week or so. And so uh, these are not model kits that I particularly like, but in case anybody else is really interested, we're going to show them off anyway. So I think I'm not the only person here that's kind of a little lackluster about this, but as far as I know, this is the MSD Gundam The Origin Light Liner. It's basically like a paragliding unit for the suit. It's released in February 2021, going for about $14. So you're essentially spending $14 on a glider. Now, I have never seen this in general, uh, in terms of Gundam. I have never seen this at all um, in any of the Origin kits. Uh, I haven't seen this in merchandising. But I think it would be kind of interesting for people who just like this kind of aesthetic. If they have a 30 minute missions kit, they can slap this on. If they want to put it onto like one of the Ava suits. I think that would be kind of cool too. Um, because there are a lot of like, you know, drop down operations with like Ava unit one and two. So that might be kind of cool. Uh, then again, you can also probably make this out of plastic uh, if you really wanted to as well. But in case anybody happens to be interested, this is, as far as I know, a P Bandai kit. So, you know, get them while you can, I guess. Second on the chopping block is the Hyaku Rise Cane. Now, I've never also heard of this. It is a Hyaku Shiki design that's also coming out February 2021 for $132, roughly. Now, what's interesting about this is that it came from the Build Divers Gym and Ball World Challenge. It's a side story, so it has really shiny armor. You can see more in, of these in the description below. Uh, it's very uh, stylistic, and the shoulders are just gigantic. So if you want a, like a hyper-stylized Yakushiki, this might be your best bet. It does look pretty cool. It is very shiny. It is also super expensive, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to shell out $130 for a kit I basically have, because uh, I do have that the new Hyakushiki like 2.0. Um, it does look good though, not gonna lie. The shoulders really threw me off the first time I saw it. It's like, you know, triple the size of the head or something like that. But it does look cool. All right, and the next thing we're going to take a look at is this guy. So there are two reviews in this video, um, both from, well, not me. I believe one's from Hach uh, Hachika and the other one's from uh, like Schizophrenic. Um, you know, don't don't crucify me if you know I said something wrong. But this is the Air Master. I don't think we see a lot of P Bandai reviews, and so I think it's a good idea to take a look at these every once in a while. Now, the only difference that I really see between this Air Master first and the uh, regular Air Master is really just the top part. So anyone who watched Gundam X knows that the Air Master went through an upgrade. Uh, this, I feel like, is just kind of like a more mm, like futuristic design. So you have like cannons. It's not exactly designed for like ground stuff. So you don't see like really large wings you don't really see the jet profile as much anymore you kind of see like you know space jet you get you know guns instead of um well wings um so i mean i'm not really a fan i don't think it's really kind of doing it for me i'm really happy that this review exists and so that people can kind of know what they're getting themselves into um i think that's a lot of firepower right there uh, i think there's also a cannon supposedly inside of this nose um, and I know that, uh, or at least to my, the best of my ability, I remember that Kosaka Yuma uses an Air Master variant, uh, in one of the episodes of Build Fighters Try. So if you really like Kosaka Yuma, then maybe this is something that you want to get to. And this here, I feel like is also really important to take a look at and highlight because there are a lot of Gundam Wing fans out there, especially in the United States. And there's not many to, not many opportunities for you to get the armadillo unit if you, this is something you really like. Now the armadillo unit is something that you use in, um, was it Glory of the Losers? And it's a pretty cool add-on that I think is not exactly 
I don't know, canon, I guess. Um, and I think it's only used for like a couple of parts in a chapter. So maybe like three pages. It's very short lived. Uh, it's kind of like that rosette unit or something like that for the Death Scythe Hell. Uh, but if you're a completionist and you want some upgrades for your Sandrock, then this might be your ticket. Uh, it does look very accurate to how I remember it in the manga. It does add a significant amount of bulk and it does go in line with the idea that the Sandrock is like a heavily armored suit. Now, I don't mean like has a lot of weapons. I mean like literal armor. Like it just, it's an armadillo. Like it, it has a lot of shields, it has a lot of protection, lots of defense, lots of armor. Uh, and at least it's articulate, right? Uh, then again, I would probably only keep it kind of like in one pose, one pose only. Now, I don't know, I, I'm probably just, you know, a sucker for like the older designs, but I do like this, but this just looks really cool. I think it would be kind of interesting if someone were to paint these instead of that blue color. It's kind of like a drab blue Titans-ish almost looking color and make them yellow instead. Kind of get that like more of that yellow from the sand rock to pop out like a lot more. But that's just me. Or I could just buy the kit and do it myself, but then I have to buy the kit. But it looks like it's fairly articulate, or at least it's articulate enough where it should not impede any of its basic articulation. Because you really don't see it outside of poses like this or this. Um, and you're able to do that, so you can hold the Uzi. And I think we did see a little bit, I guess, from the back where it's holding one of the heat show tells. So cool. So thanks everybody for being able to uh, check out this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you, I mean, really want to. And then all of the links should be in the description below. See you next time.